When writing the main characters of a story, I often take inspiration from parts of my personality. I try to imagine a version of myself with certain character traits that would be exaggerated. Some traits could become toxic and lead to creating flaws in a protagonist or explain antagonistic behaviors. Others could stem from negative traits I have and how they would end up if they were sorted out. And I believe it opened the door to introspection early on in my life. I've always wanted to understand why I felt a certain way, even if some of the digging was uncomfortable. It's a slow and potentially never-ending process, but it's great testament to how much we grow over time. Before anyone can believe in your characters, you must understand what makes someone who they are. It's an exercise in empathy and understanding which starts with yourself and spreads to others. As I've met more people over the years, I started to realize not everyone is comfortable being alone with their own thoughts. In fact, quite the opposite. As you try to write compelling character arcs, you delve deeper and deeper into what made these characters who they are, and consequently, what made you who you are. It can be an upsetting moment, as you may be faced with certain traits of your personality you wish were different. Maybe you begin to understand why you act a certain way. Maybe you start blaming yourself or holding certain people accountable for how you turned out. It's not the prettiest face, but I do think it's necessary to write believable characters. The same way actors get into characters and can emotionally learn from them. When we are writing, we become aware of our own actions in life and wonder what would happen if we were to tone down or accentuate certain parts of them. It can help sort out our own problems if the characters are close enough to who we are. And if they're completely different, it can create a feeling of dissociation. Not necessarily in a bad way, as it can be freeing to get out of our own problems and patterns for a while. However, some actors can lose themselves in these roles, since staying in character can feel easier than going back to themselves and facing the inside noise. With the evolution of the internet and smartphones, everything screams to get our attention. Add to that the fact that every day is a rush jumping from commuting to work while jumping from YouTube to Twitter. Our generation and the ones following have been evolving in this environment that doesn't leave time for introspection. We're currently in the middle of a pandemic and lockdown. Without the noise of the outside world, the only noise left is the one from within. A noise that's never been dealt with previously for most people because it was drowned in everything else. I believe a lot of people our age are struggling psychologically now, for reasons far greater than inner turmoil obviously, but when everything settles down, this is what stays. I guess this is my way of saying we can't shy away from who we are, and we must actively seek to understand and accept ourselves, for a better creative process, but mostly to have more control over our life and emotions. I wanted to talk about three people who helped and inspired me these past years. First, we have Nate. He's driven by curiosity and tends to act weird around others. He's learned not to let his doubt and differences slow him down as he always feels like he's got much to do. All of that pushed him to do things on his own, without input from other people. Then, we got Oren. He grew up on his own and has always been able to get proficient at things quite fast. but he ends up never really giving his all. He tends to stay quiet when he doesn't need to speak, which can make him appear thoughtful but sometimes cold. Finally, Mia. She's a talented artist who tries her best to brighten other people's day, even if it means hiding her own feelings. Her parents have been struggling with money for a while, and they don't want to see her live the same kind of life, so they are against her pursuing an art career. As you might have guessed, these are original characters. They've been occupying my mind for six years now, to the point that I can easily imagine how they would act in any situation. When I first came up with them, I just started grad school. I was studying engineering, but for a while I was supposed to go to art school instead. From this period, I just remember I was missing high school a lot. So I started thinking about a group of high schoolers who still had that freedom to do whatever they wanted with their lives. 
almost like I'd split my personality in three and gave them their own branching path in a past version of myself. Five years later, I graduated and I have a job. Just as much as these characters originated from myself, I feel like they've influenced me in a lot of ways. Like Nate, I understood we can go further with people around us. I've learned to let go and listen to what I really want, like Oren. I've had to come to terms with certain family problems, like Mia. These character arcs were written down in 2017 for a one-shot, and I realize now that they were all three personal problems that I've had for a while, and I've been through these arcs myself in the years that followed. I don't know which inspired which, almost like I subconsciously knew what I would have to deal with to move on from these problems and insecurities. It feels like they're actual people that I know, and that I'm really close to. It feels like they started as flawed, incomplete people, designed around my insecurities and developed into full-fledged personalities through their own path and challenges. They diverge from who I am, but the same way we can be inspired when we see someone grow over challenges, whether it be close friends, strangers on the internet, or characters in a story. The characters we create hold that power too. They're both intimate and completely unattainable. Close friends and strangers will never meet. A form of parasocial relationship that we're the only ones experiencing. Blending our past and future into arcs. They're the people we could have been. And the people we can become. As always friends, thanks for watching. You've sent a lot of heartfelt messages in the previous video for the ones and the things that we love. I knew this one wasn't going to perform well with the YouTube algorithm, but it seems it left an impact on the people it reached, which is all I can ask for. In a couple weeks, I'm going to be talking about where I'm heading with the channel and the different projects I have. I'd like these projects to grow bigger and be able to spend more time on them. I'm also going to release a trailer for the game I'm working on. I'm finishing up everything right now to make sure it's exciting, and I'm receiving help from a couple of friends who believe in these projects as much as I do. And I hope you'll do as well. Until then, take care guys.